What is up everyone? This is Jojo the Techie and today we're going to upgrade from this router to this one. Alright Techies, so here's the deal. For some time now, I've been having issues with my Wi-Fi router, as you can see here by the results of my internet speed test, so I decided it was time for me to upgrade to a mesh Wi-Fi system and finally get rid of my Wi-Fi issues for good. I took advantage of a Black Friday sale and sprung for the Nest Wi-Fi router plus point, which should give me plenty of coverage in my two-story apartment. Now please note that you will still need an ISP or internet service provider and a working modem to connect this router. When it is not on sale, it retails in the US for $169 for the router only, and it is expandable by adding additional points at $149 each, although you can save some money by buying a bundled package instead. I went for the package that includes one router and one point, which extends the reach of your Wi-Fi. The point also has the added ability to function as a smart speaker, so essentially like a Google Nest Mini, although this functionality is optional. For my setup, I think I'm just going to skip the smart speaker since I already have enough of those to spread around the house. The router itself does not include a speaker, leaving that functionality to the points only and instead what you'll find underneath it is a WAN port to connect the cable that comes from your modem and a LAN port which can be used if you want to hardwire a certain device or several devices by connecting a network switch. As you can see, I went for the snow or white color for my bundle. However, you can choose a different color for your point only and get it in a light blue color that Google calls mist or in sand, which is your pastel pink. For this iteration of mesh routers, Google decided to go with a more round design and more matte colors, making them look more stylish and encouraging us to have them out on display, which also in turn improves their connectivity and performance not having to be hidden in a cabinet or closet. The package I purchased comes with two 15 watt power adapters, one for the router and one for the point. It also includes a six and a half foot ethernet cable, which is what you will most likely use to plug in this router to your modem. So this is all that comes in the box. Next, I'm gonna show you how I set it up. But first, if you are enjoying this content and would like to see more, help me out by giving this video a like. Don't forget to also subscribe and click on the bell so you can get notified the next time I upload a video. The Google Nest Wi-Fi router gets set up via the Google Home app, which should detect any new compatible devices in range. It should also detect any mesh points in range and automatically prompt you to set those up as well. I am quickly going through the process here, which is made very simple with step-by-step -step instructions and by scanning the included QR code. Once the connection is successful, you are then prompted to create a name and password for your Wi-Fi. If you do happen to be adding on a mesh point, you will be prompted to set that up as well using the same QR code method used for the router itself. For both devices, you will be asked for their physical location in your home. This way, you can keep things organized within the app. Once the point is added, the app will conduct a mesh connection test and let you know whether there are any issues. Now that I'm all set, let's try that internet speed test again with the new router. Wow, huge difference here, don't you think? All right, techies, let me know in the comments below whether you think this was a good investment or not. I do happen to think it is because just look at the difference in speeds. I was due for an upgrade. See you next time.